Jasmine Smith, 22 years old, currently living in Hammersmith in London where I've just moved. I was first diagnosed with epilepsy, I was 17 years old, I was studying at college to be a dancer. As I was training seven days a week, I started fainting, which people put down to being tired and you know, overworking. Then after a few weeks it got worse and I started to babble absolute nonsense. So I went to see a doctor who referred me to a neurologist and after the tests it was diagnosed as epilepsy. But they found a brain tumour from one of the scans which explained a lot that was what was causing the epilepsy. When I was diagnosed it was very, I was so shocked. I didn't know anything about it. The only thing I did know about epilepsy was a generalised seizure which is obviously when somebody's on the floor shaking. And so that's what I assumed if I had epilepsy that's what it would be. However, when I was first diagnosed, that wasn't the case. So it was very different. So I was just more confused than anything. My seizures were very regular, so sometimes three or four times a week. And sometimes I might take a few hours to recover. I'd be so tired that you felt people become, become very protective of you. So if you're out on your own, you'd be getting phone calls quite often to see where you are. By the time I was sort of 18, 19, you want that independence, and your independence just goes so rapidly. And even though I'm well, when I wasn't having a seizure, they'd be worried when I was on public transport that I'd have a seizure and I would be run over. You know, silly things that sound so simple, but having a bath, I could no longer do that. I could no longer curl my hair without somebody there because I might burn myself. So it did change my life unbelievably. People associate epilepsy with having a seizure. However, for me personally, that's the smallest part of epilepsy because having that seizure is, is you know, technically what the epilepsy is. But it's everything that the side effects of medication, the independence, the driving, the going out alone, that is just awful. And some people just can't live with it. I've met people that just can't cope. And I felt that the more people knew about it, the less scared they would be and the more independence they'd give me, which is why now and at the time I would try to talk about it as much as I could so that people knew what was going on, when to panic, when not to panic, and that way I felt like I got more independence. When I had seizures at college before university, they were absolutely amazing. For an example, once in a rehearsal I had a seizure and they would quite literally dance around me. But in the weirdest way, I loved that because it didn't mean I was scaring anybody and they weren't treating me differently. I would come round, wake myself up a bit and carry on dancing, which was great. It didn't phase them. University was very different to college. The expectation was a lot higher. If I had a seizure, and the teachers looked horrified. They looked at me like, why are you here? You can't do it. And that was, I think, of the entire experience of having epilepsy was probably the worst. I changed career from you know, dancing to being a nurse. Completely different areas. I think I spent so much time in hospital, I just became so interested in what was going on. And I was suddenly fascinated by the brain, how these seizures work. My new dream was to be an epilepsy specialist nurse or something along those lines. So a new path. Nothing will ever take the passion away that I have for dance, but it's a new passion, so I, I definitely love it. Learning something new every day, which is great.